Hey everybody, Bryce here from codelife.io, and today we're checking out a website called gokoji.com. So you can probably see I got a hat on, uh, so they were nice enough to hook me up with some swag. Uh, but I just want to be clear, I'm not getting paid for this video or promoting them, uh, or getting paid to promote them or anything like that. Um, I just thought it was a really cool project and I was able to connect with these guys, and it uh, looks like they're doing some really cool stuff. So I just want to show you what GoKoji is. So essentially they have some pre-made templates for different projects, create React app, uh, different games of sorts. And so in about 10 minutes, I was able to customize a game, deploy it. Uh, as you can see, I got my own domain, jsmatch.withkoji.com. And I'm able to start playing this game here and click start. And it's just all JavaScript uh, matching logos. It's just kind of a fun game. Uh, but I was able to put it together in five, ten minutes. Let me pause this here. There you go. Now you can actually hear me again. Uh, but it, pretty cool. It was a really simple game. Uh, I was able to put together in all of five minutes. And you can see it click through here. Let me turn it back on. So you can see the Where should I go? Got it. Oh boy. Got one. There we go. So you get the gist. But really simple to set up. Um, deploy it in all of 10 minutes. So I'll show you a little bit about Go Koji. Uh, really cool. They're in beta still. So if you do see any bugs or anything like that, I've noticed a couple small things. Uh, just go up here and click share feedback and give them some uh, information on what you found. Um, so I'll show you, uh, once you create an account, um, just log in and then you can go over to your templates and these are all the different things they already have created for you. Um, and you can modify these yourself or upload even your own, um, which I'll probably end up uploading some of my own for you guys to play around with, um, for different tutorials and stuff like that. I think it's pretty cool. So they got a Gatsby static site generator, which is react phasers. Uh, you make video games with that. Um, and then a create react app package, which I use all the time, like in my tutorials, but they got it, uh, already set up and, uh, for their platform, which is pretty cool. So you could actually customize it, build your own app and deploy it in a short amount of time. And so I'll show you a little bit, the gem match, like what I made for that. Um, so you can click on gem match here. It'll tell you a little bit about the project. You can see kind of some variations people have made with it. Um, Sometimes they'll tell you what variables you can change out pretty easy. So we can click use template. We'll give it a name and I'll say, uh, gems match. I'll just give it any name. You can create it, whatever I called the other one, JS match. And it'll go ahead and spin up a development environment. So sometimes it's only like 20 seconds. looks like it's a little longer. I wonder if there's other people spinning stuff up ready for my projects in the background. Uh, but they actually create your entire virtual machine um, up in uh, AWS for you. And so it allows you to code right in your browser uh, without any extra IDEs or setups or anything like that, which is pretty nice. Oh, so it looks like it finished a little sooner. So it'll show you the terminal down here. You can see the front end, the back end code. Um, I'm going to hide this for right now. And then you can see kind of a live preview, which is really, really cool. Um, and we can click over to, so if we wanted to, we could play it right here in the browser. Let's see it in action. Like, oh, that looks pretty good. Okay. And kill this music. So I don't annoy you to death. Um, but if you come over here to the sidebar, you'll see down below you have the actual code. So we have the front end code. If you want to go in and actually modify things yourself in there. This is just, uh, looks like it was written in React. Cool. Um, so pretty simple um, project, but you could actually modify all this stuff if you wanted to, uh, different routes and things they have set up. But we want to just pump this game out, make some changes to it, and get on. Um, so you could actually come in here and you could change colors um, for various things. Uh, game settings. 
gems match. Cool. And it says start will say begin. And you see that? It's just library loads, takes care of it. And you can change these fonts too. Uh, you go to Google fonts and change this to whatever you want. Um, and make it look like a completely different game. You could change the background image if you wanted to pretty quickly. Um, click begin. And I could even change number of moves. We could set width, let's say eight. Click begin. Now it's a square. So uh, pretty cool. There's some other things in here. You could set some of the metadata for your app. Um, a Google Analytics tracking code if you wanted to. Kind of the image that shows up when it gets shared. Um, all kinds of things. Eventually they're rolling out the ability to uh, deploy it. If we click on deploy here. Uh, deploy to a bunch of different platforms including the iOS and Google Play Store. Um, as well as like Facebook Instant Games, Snap Games. Um, all kinds of stuff. You can bit package into a desktop app with Electron. Um, really cool. And you can even uh, configure your own custom domain name. So if you have your own domain name, you could actually uh, create a C name record, and map it over. So it's really, really interesting. And the way in here, they have a kind of a special setup. If you go into code, um, you can kind of see how they lay it out and create these entries where you know, it requires no code. So, I mean, you could change these images to whatever, um, find different images on the internet, or you could upload your own. Um, so that's what I did for my JS match game. If you see that, so I'll go over and I'll show you my project, my projects, doo -doo -doo. test gem project, I think is what it was called. And so to go ahead and just spin up another editor for us. And cool. So you can see my project here. It is in the preview mode. Um, you can actually scan it uh, with your phone um, and then it'll open up on your phone and you can actually play on your phone, which is really, really cool. Let me get back to embed preview. Um, so you can see my pieces. I just went and found some logos of the different uh, uh, top JS frameworks. You got Angular, Vue, Ember, React and then for the last one I wasn't sure I picked Backbone. Uh, let me know which ones you would have picked for these ones. And for sounds, I found this free audio clip on um, on YouTube, YouTube Music. Uh, guy Gunnar Olson had this uh, free to use, uh, no attribution, but I want to thank him for putting it out there. So if I click play, cool. So we changed it up from that. So you could actually change your own audio. And again, you can see in here, if you needed to, you could actually go in and change this to add more audio sounds if you wanted to. And then everybody would be able to, you know, if you were to share this as a template, be able to go in there and change, add another sound, and then you could trigger it from within the code. So really, really, really cool. Um, and I didn't bother changing any of the colors, but you could, they, they uh, end up showing up as you click over different stuff. But this is just one of many projects to come. It's all still in beta, so you're getting in on the ground floor to be able to make your own uh, templates. Um, so I think there's some big things ahead. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you could go check out uh, gokoji.com, uh, play around with some of their projects. It's free to use right now. Um, and if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It helps others find the videos and tutorials that I put out. Thanks, guys. Take care.